sure, that magnesium is going to help loosen up your back, help you feel good and improve your brain function. But I've got another tip for you. And it's probably something you've heard about before. It's called standing. But let's take a little bit of an outside of the box look at this so that we're not just talking about typical boring science. We're talking about some weird kind of science that's going to make you say wow when it comes down to standing up every now and then. All right, so the first thing we want to look at is yes, we do know that most people say you should be standing 80% of the time and sitting 20% of the time. I don't know who came up with that number, but it seems like it's totally out of right field and it's totally random. So I don't necessarily think that's the way, but what you do need to understand is the cellular systems and processes and what is metabolically active in your body. So the biggest issue that we're facing whenever it comes down to sitting for too long is we are deactivating a very specific enzyme known as lipoprotein lipase, LPL. So what ends up happening is when we're sitting down, we're not triggering this enzyme to release fat from our adipose tissue. The way that fat burning works in sort of a nutshell is lipoprotein lipase triggers the release of fats from our storage form into our bloodstream. Once they're in our bloodstream, then they get acted upon by another enzyme known as hormone-sensitive lipase. Then and only then does what is called lipolysis, fat burning, actually occur. So if we are lacking lipoprotein lipase, the enzyme that actually allows the fat to get back into the bloodstream, we're never mobilizing fat to actually burn. So sure, calories in, calories out. If you're sitting down, you're not burning many calories. Yeah, we know that, but you're actually forgetting the biggest part you're not activating the enzyme that turns on fat burning. So here's where things get really, really cool. Did you know that within 90 seconds of standing up, you are activating metabolic pathways. Every single cell that is in your skeletal system, your muscular system, and of course, all other kind of cellular function is activated. When you're sitting down, it's not activated. You're just kind of operating at the bare minimum. But within 90 seconds of standing, your muscle cells activate. And these are the things that burn up triglycerides and mobilize them, but also what regulates and activates the utilization of glucose and regulates your blood sugar. So without this process occurring, you're in this sort of dormant state. But what a lot of people don't realize is that it happens in just 90 seconds. You stand up within 90 seconds, you're activating those enzymes and you're activating those cells. Well, not only that, but this whole thing is responsible for getting fuel to your cells. So if you're not mobilizing, your cells are essentially starving. They're not getting the nutrients. They're not getting what they need to function properly and give you the right kind of energy. So we need to sort of flip the paradigm a little bit. Right now, we're thinking being active a little bit less and sitting down a majority of the day. We just need to flip that on its head and be standing a little bit more and sitting a little bit less blanket statement, I know. And I'm not telling you you need to be standing up all day when you're at the office. I'm telling you that you need to stand up for a minimum of 90 seconds and try to just do little intervals throughout the day because it makes a tremendous difference. So the Journal of Occupational Environmental Medicine found that literally standing up just every 20 minutes or so burns an additional 170 calories per day. That adds up to almost 1,000 calories per week. And when you look at it like that, that's almost a third a pound of fat per week. So in three weeks, you're gonna burn a pound of fat just by getting up and standing every 20 minutes and standing for a little bit and activating that lipoprotein lipase and activating the other metabolic pathways within your body. See, it's less about just standing because it's good for you and it's more about getting your body to flip that switch so that you can turn on the fat burning. But now let's look at back pain and let's look at it in a whole different way. You go to your personal trainer, you go to your physical therapist, they're gonna tell you you need to do these stretches, you need to move this way to get your back loosened up. Well, what we forget is that the back is biologically active. It's metabolically active, just like our muscle tissue. We have discs in our back. They are designed to have a massive amount of blood flow. We should be moving our back, extension, flexion. That gets the blood to those discs. When we get the blood to the discs, the discs get the nutrients, and therefore, they loosen up, and they stay limber, and they stay flexible, just like a muscle would. So it's less about moving and more, again, about enzymes, about metabolic pathways and about cellular activity. We have to think at the cellular level and stop thinking at even the orthopedic level when it comes down to our back injuries. So again, the Journal of Occupational and Environmental Medicine found that just standing up every 20 minutes or so dramatically improved back pain, but also increased your blood flow dramatically to the back, which means you're gonna reduce the risk of injury later on when you're working out. You ever notice that after you've been sitting down for a long time, two days later, it's easier to get an injury? Well, again, it all has to do with blood flow and nutrient delivery. But I don't want to stop here. I don't want to stop at just fat burning and back pain. What about mood? You see, whenever you are using your brain in an intense way, you're activating usually one specific portion of your brain predominantly. 
Now, what happens when you stand up? Well, of course, you have an increase in blood flow, which means an increase in red blood cells that are going to that already active portion of your brain. So if you're sitting down and you're focusing on writing a blog, and then you stand up and you're still working on that blog, you will likely see a 15 to 20 percent increase in your cognitive focus and alertness at that very given point in time just by the extra red blood cells going to that given portion of your brain. So without changing your train of thought, just stand up and keep working on what you're working on, and it's pretty remarkable. So the International Journal of Behavioral Nutrition actually found in multiple studies that by standing up, again, every 20 to 30 minutes, subjects were able to improve their alertness, improve their overall cognitive function, and even their short-term memory. So now we have sort of a triple whammy. We activate lipoprotein lipase, we improve our mood, and of course we make it so we don't throw out our back in the gym the next day. Honestly, just by standing up every 20 minutes for a minimum of 90 seconds. So don't get in that rut. I know that you have more attention to detail and focus than just that. Get up, move around, and don't fall victim to the general boredom of health topics. Find it exciting and find the enzymes and how they're activated exciting so that you can burn fat and look the way that you want to. So as always, Jigsaw Land, make sure that you are keeping it locked in here with Jigsaw Health and make sure that you check out the wide array of Jigsaw products so that you can not only look your best, but feel your best. I'll see you in the next video.